But yeah, well, I couldn't leave Oriel Park without having a few words of it to yourself, Stephen O'Donnell. I'm delighted to meet you in, in a relaxed uh, atmosphere environment here up in the and the McGuill Suite. Uh, full time training this season, uh, Stephen. Uh, what extra demands has it put on you? Well, I suppose in a sense. Uh we were full time and everything bar I suppose name the last few years we we're still training the same amount of days and that but I suppose what it does do train in the mornings it helps you do everything as a team and a, as a squad in the afternoons like if, yeah. if you're in the gym if you have a gym, a gym session scheduled you're all in the gym together as opposed to the other years we were training in the evenings and we it was up to us individually to go and do our gym sessions so now after training or, and after 10 or 15 minute break after training everyone's in the gym together so I think it creates a better atmosphere right, and, yeah. and a harder work, work ethic when everyone's in it together you know yeah 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 and uh, what, how does your body tell you when you're fit you know you I know you play friendly games this is at the beginning of the season Stephen mm -hmm. you know is, is it true the games or is it true your your physical fit uh, training it's uh, I suppose nothing can replicate games you know mm -hmm. but uh, the, your body tells you you're fit when uh, you're not consciously breathing or you're not saying I can't make that run now because uh, yeah. in a game because I'm, I'm blown you know blown, yeah, yeah. it's when you're just on autopilot and you're not thinking yeah. about anything and you're so you really you're, know what you can do yeah you're getting around stage. the pitch easy yeah. and nothing yeah. you'll have nothing. the odd breathing in between oh, breather, of being able to go. but there's no uh, there's no thoughts of you know I need to conserve energy uh, here yeah, that you yeah. know um, whereas you know the first few games of preseason you might make a long bust and run or something and you know it'll take you a couple of minutes I'll just sit yeah, and sit and be missing for a minute exactly so exactly quite, you know yeah. to get your breath yeah, back so yeah, yeah. you know you're going well when you know you're in the 75th 80th minute and you're uh, still yeah. you're still going strong and it's not it's not even something that enters your head during the game right uh, do you get more excited about the Cork and Shamrock Rovers games than you would about, say, the other teams, Stephen? Like, you know, uh, do, you, do you know the teams that is really going to get you up for? Yeah. The bigger games take care of themselves because, um, you know, you don't need any motivation for them. You have a chance to, to get one over on your rivals and, to, you know, like you could win another week and you come into the dressing room and your rivals have won, so you've not made any yeah, ground. Yeah. But when you know you're playing against your rivals, and you beat them, you know, you've, yeah, you've yeah. gained three points in them, yeah. so I suppose that's the importance of it. But yeah. um, Would the adrenaline be that wee bit higher, like, for those Obviously, of the, yeah. the games are, they yeah. take on probably a little bit of extra importance in that oh, sense, when there's yeah. a rivalry, and there's has been over the last few years, so there's there's no doubt that the the, um, the games are probably a bit little bit tenser, and, and um, you know, I suppose, yeah. a, a bigger, bigger way to put it, but as I said, we've kind of... Um, we kind of pride ourselves on being on being consistent and take it, respect in every team. As it and, goes. Um, yeah. You know, we haven't had many nights where we've where we've not been at the race and we've been turned over. You know, like in a, in a real shock defeat. Every game. Yeah, of course you had success with Shamrock Rovers in Europe before you came to Dundalk. But what would be your your, your favourite or your your best European tie with Dundalk that you can you'll always remember? Uh, I think the bad A game in Tala was the yeah, best, you yeah. know, just the way we we were lucky enough probably to lose one nil away from home. We didn't play great, mm. uh, and then just the way we we played and the way we won at, at in Tala, you know, winning three nil so convincingly and knowing that you were in the in the group stages was a great feeling. And I think you know the way it was pouring down with rain kind of added uh, yeah, to the atmosphere. Yeah, yeah. And the I great, was excited to be sad for that night. Yeah, Stephen. and a great crowd there, you know, a yeah, massive yeah. Dundalk contingent, and you know it was just a special night and probably. One of the nights you'll definitely remember, you know, when yeah. you stop playing and looking back and saying, "I wish I could go back in time and be be there that night and, uh, yeah, and, and yeah. feel those emotions again." Yeah, yeah, yeah. You you've won uh, plenty of Premier Leagues and cups, Stephen. Uh, which trophy would you prefer, the league or the cup? Uh, which which do you get to say? The, uh, the, league, uh, the league, the league, yeah, without doubt, because yeah. I think it's a, it's a, it's always our ambition, and every player's probably ambition to win the league. I think the league, mm. best team wins the league. It's over a period of uh, thirty odd games, and um, you know, if I had a choice between the league and the cup, obviously the cup's a great day out for everyone, a great day out for the supporters, great to play at the Aviva, for the players and that. But over the course of a season, I think you want to be judged. Yeah. on your league performance so um, you know definitely be the league, for the league. Yeah, if I had a choice yeah. yeah and we all know you as captain of Dundalk what, what's, your, what's your duties that we wouldn't know about 
Uh, there's nothing really set in stone and s as such. Mm. Uh, I don't do anything different than I probably would if I was just a normal player. Um, you know, we have a very good professional bunch of lads that have their own high standards as well. So, you know, on that front, there doesn't need to be any real, um, any real bollocks or that given yeah. out to players. But I suppose it's. Um, I couldn't really put my finger on. I just be myself. Just and, yourself, uh, yeah. yeah. I just be myself and. When when you go to grounds like Daly Mount with the wee bit of an incline and uh, Richmond Park and Brandywell had it too, do you make that decision that you play up the hill the first half, say? No, that'd be the manager's decision. Yeah, he has his own. He knows yeah, all. I was the often grounds. wondering that. Yeah, like, you no, know. he has his own. Um, he knows all the grounds, obviously in Ireland himself. So he has his own uh, thoughts and that. So he'd um, if there was a debate or whatever. If, you know, there could be simple thing like we played Derry and the sun was it was a low lying sun and and the, so we, that's why we switched uh, around yeah, on yeah. the other night on Friday. So yeah, yeah. you know, just different things like that. If you wanted to take real initiative over the game and there was a strong wind, maybe you could, like the manager yeah. might want to go and play with the strong wind. You know, yeah. in the first but half. But you wouldn't make that decision. No, that'd be the, that'd be that'd the manager. manager's call. Uh, yeah. Right, and of course, the, uh, this this week year we have a ten team leagues. Stephen, uh, I know you're not enamoured with. Uh, the, the, the fictional list. How do you, how do you view it? Yeah, the ten team league. Obviously, in an ideal world, you'd like a bit more depth in the league mm. and, and different teams, even for fans as well, going to watch maybe the same teams over and over again. You know, is yeah, the most yeah. exciting. It's great um, to get a bit of variety. Same with players to, to to be playing against different teams and maybe have a bigger league. But that's the way we are. Um, you know, the fixtures. We have a lot of fixtures coming up. Uh, it's it seems very. Um, you know, uh, one like lopsided in the sense. I think we have twenty four league games uh, before yeah, the break yeah, and yeah. only twelve after the break. So, you know, there's going to be. We have these next five or six weeks are very crammed. You have three games a week, and then after the break, you're going to maybe have, if you're not in a cup or maybe out of Europe or that, you're going to have a few free weekends. So, mm -hmm. you know, it's not ideal, but hopefully our squad will come into action over the next couple of months and, and get us through this real busy period. You have so many memories with the dog since you joined us. Is there anyone that uh, sort of jumps out at you? Uh, I think obviously the first league win, uh, you know, I think that was crucial because we obviously came second the season before and we were leading the league for so long the second season. Um, you know, it would have been a big blow, I think, um, not being able to win the league that year. You know, you yeah, would have, yeah. everyone would have been doubting themselves and that having come second two years in a row. And as I said, leading the league for for most of the season so I think that was big that we got over the line and um, you know that nice it's rarely you get the top two against each other yeah, in the yeah, last game yeah, of the season yeah. winner takes all so that was another uh, special night I suppose and uh, um, you know a night that you'll remember as well when you've stopped playing yeah you might like this question but when you decide to hang up your boots uh, Stephen uh, what's next for you I'd like to stay in football obviously and then um, go into the coaching or whatever managing side of things that's Speaking as a as a novice, not yeah, knowing yeah. what it what it withholds, you know, yeah. in a sense. Um, you but might, you're still learning as a player, listening to managers. Yeah, you? exactly. You're always sort of you're always uh, you're always learning and taking in taking stuff in. But you know, you might uh, you might end up managing, and like say, this isn't for me after six months, you know, because it's not. Yeah. It's not an easy job, you know. You, there's a lot, there's a lot of a lot of things you have to you have to look after. You have a whole squad as a player. You're only looking after yourself and getting yourself in in peak condition where as a, as a manager you have to look out after a big squad yeah, of 20 yeah. and it's not yeah. always easy no, but no. I think it's a challenge that I'd enjoy but um, hopefully there's another couple of years left of me yet. Well Stephen O'Donnell as uh, the captain of the 1963 team uh, to Stephen O'Donnell the captain of Dundalk present team can I thank you very much for your company today. God bless Thanks you. a million John. Thank, thank you. Thanks, really Stephen. enjoyed it. Thank you. Thank you son. Thank you.